I was sent this USB hub here by this company. Uh, it's a San Zhang. I've had a lot of people ask recently about these hubs because, you know, we have the ROG Ally, we have the Steam Deck, and now we have the Legion Go coming out soon. And they asked me which ones I like and that. So it's nice that these guys sent it over because it's always good to have more options. This one looks like it has a lot of ports on it. This will be like a true hub, you know, it's got a lot more to it. Um, yeah, nice metal build there. Um, you know, it doesn't feel cheapo or anything like a plasticky type, uh, like a plasticky type device. That's nice. Nice braided cable there. Um, yeah, and we get our uh, USB-C option. So if you're going to use USB-C and then you have that built right in. I think this is the first one I have that actually has that built right in. That's actually kind of nice. Right here I have a NVMe dongle. You know, I can plug that in there and I should be able to get a thousand megabytes a second or so out of that right there. That'll be good. Uh, we get our RJ45 Ethernet right here. So we'll test that out. Oh man, it actually has display port too. So you have two display options here. You go with display one and display two. You can't put in all four. It's not a f quad display uh, hub. So, you know, you can go for your display one and you have the choice of display or HDMI. And then you have your display two, which is HDMI or display port again. So same thing. So, you know, I'm gonna hook up, for example, a monitor on uh, one here and I'll go, I don't know, let's just say I go with uh, HDMI. And then over here on my second monitor over here, I can say, you know, do I wanna go display port or HDMI? So I can do both technically. Okay, and here we are running some tests here. I have hooked up, as you can see, a uh, Sabrent, just a USB thing. And inside is an NVMe, obviously. And we're going over USB-A. And you can see that it's the fast style of USB-A. It's not gonna be the type where you're gonna be getting about 500 megabytes a second. Um, typically, you know, if you get those five, basically they're, they'll be tagged with a five on them here, you can see. And, uh, you know, it'll say uh, five megabit per second. Um, which will give you around 500 megabytes a second. This is a 10 megabit per second, which is the fast style here. And it looks like all three ports are the faster style here. So what that means is all of these ports are gonna give you 1000 megabytes a second transfer speeds, which is the most common of these, you know, these NVMe enclosures. Okay, next up, let's text the ethernet. So we got our ethernet there. Uh, obviously it's gonna be fast. I have gigabit ethernet. So in theory, this should work exactly as uh, advertise so let's test it and come back okay and as you can see here nice fast speeds this is pretty typical of what i get uh that's fine it's exactly going to be as anticipated you know thousand megabytes per second transfer speeds are advertised on the dongle so that works perfect uh no issues there whatsoever let's test out some displays there and then we'll move on to some other devices okay i'm plugging in some devices here uh, okay that worked right away obviously um, so that's the first display there. I'm gonna have to get another cable here because I want to hook up both the displays. I want to try one over HDMI as the advertise and I want to try one over display as well. So let's get that tested. I'm just gonna grab another cable and come back. The second monitor hooked up to display. Let's test it out. I'm sure it's right away, whatever. There it is. And it works fine. Uh, let's just extend it again, just to be sure. Here we go. So, yep, oh, it gave me a different background. That's cool. I didn't know it would do that. Um, yeah, so it's working. You can see there. So you can go HDMI or display for the first one, HDMI or display port for the second one. Okay, and as expected, you can see here, Power Deliver is working on the ThinkBook. Um, I don't know what it is about my Lenovo Legion. It's so sensitive to uh, Power Deliver. It's just, it freaks out over everything. It's actually pretty annoying. I guess we are. So we're charging at a normal rate here, 22 watts positive. This is a 16 inch powerful laptop with 13900H and an RTX 4060. Um, and we're not in like any type of, you know, quiet mode or anything like that. You know, we can put it in turbo mode. You can see that, that on this uh, laptop here, we're getting charge rate of 20 watts positive, which is pretty standard. You can see here, I have my uh, ROG Ally hooked up and it's doing things, right? And I mean, there we go. Now we're playing games on my ROG Ally. Brand, I mean, you're not going to be playing Starfield on a 4K screen, obviously, but I mean, maybe you have, uh, maybe you're playing an older game. You know, I could play like Sea of Stars up here, which I have on Game Pass. Let's load up Sea of Stars and we'll get that rocking on the ROG Ally. These type games are nowhere near as demanding, right? Like there's a lot of people out there who are debating, should I have a handheld like this and also a gaming laptop or something like that? And maybe a desktop? Well, I mean, the ROG Ally and the Legion Go that's coming out, they are Windows machines. So, I mean, it's very easy to hook up a system like this and actually just get something like the ROG Ally here, turn it into a productivity powerhouse with a dongle like this, or a desktop gaming PC, right? Like, this is 4K60. I mean, it's not the most demanding title, obviously. It's a brand new game, but it's not the most demanding. Now you're getting to the point where you're turning a little wee, you know, peasy little handheld like this that's 
basically, you know, a glorified Nintendo Switch on the go type thing. And then you're like, well, actually, I want to come home and I want to get serious work done or serious gaming done. You have your dongles with you and now you're really cooking here, right? You see here, I plugged in this storage here. So, you know, if you have something like an ROG Alley with limited storage, like I actually have a lot of storage in my ROG Alley. You can see up here, I actually put in a two terabyte uh, NVMe. But I mean, you can add more storage. This is just a 512 uh, gigabyte NVMe. I have a four terabyte one over here. You know, I could easily plug this in. This is actually my game drive here and it has four terabytes. So I have all my games on here, all my Steam library. Let's plug this in. All right, this is my game NVMe. So it's like just loaded full of games, right? Steam library, just loaded full of games, terabytes of games. So here we are all set up. Um, basically all you need to do is come to this website that's included on this little piece of paper here or a little plastic thing. Uh, it's basically just tells you to go to this display link manager. This is Synaptic, so it's not some like sketchy third party brand or anything. It's legit software, I've used it before. You just install this display link manager, literally download it, install it and it runs automatically. And then all you do is plug in the display here. So you can see I'm plugged in and I'm expending, extending my display here primary display here. So I've just taken my MacBook Air from, you know, a little 13 inch screen up to a gigantic 4K screen. And then I have this here. And of course, you know, if you have a MacBook, especially with an M1 or an M2 or something like that, they're quite capable machines. So you're gonna have no issues driving the 4K screen over here at the same time. So with something like this here, you know, you only have these two USBs, you get something like this here, then you get yourself an NVMe enclosure, you pop that in, you can dramatically increase your storage on your MacBook, you know, rather than having to pay Mac, rather than having to pay Apple a ton of money. I also really like this. This is a, like a hidden feature that a lot of these docks don't have. Um, I have another one right over here. I have another one over here. I paid way too much money for this thing. When uh, the Steam Deck came out, it was so expensive. And uh, yeah, one HDMI, Ethernet, um, it has SD cards, which I don't care about. So basically look at the limitation of this device here. This is by Dock Tech. I mean, it's significantly inferior and it was definitely more expensive. So we get, you know, you can see there one ethernet and then display on this, you get one HDMI period, you're done. Where you get two display here, display port HDMI, display port HDMI. So you have two options for two different displays. That's already an upgrade. Two USB-A, two USB-A. Oh, but there's another USB on that side there. So, I mean, we're already cooking here pretty good. Then you get the power delivery uh, and it also has the power delivery here. And it also has headphones and uh, the quality is good. Nice metal design, interchangeable tip. So, I mean, what's not to like? Seems pretty good to me.